Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we have got another Lush video and no I definitely do not need any more bath bombs. In fact I'm pretty sure if I counted out all my bath bombs, which is a lot, um, I'm pretty sure I have enough to last me the entire year's worth of baths. I was kind of thinking about that today. I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, oh, emails. Um, that's really bad by the way that I'm not, I, I'm not proud of it at all, um, but I'm not ashamed either because it's my monies and I like it. So yeah, um, I basically bought them, all the bath bombs, mm, not all, almost all of them. Um, I'm doing both the Lush Mother's Day and Easter all in the one video because I only actually bought three things from Easter, but I will explain why. Um, as we get on. So I'm going to do those first because there's only three things. I got a lot of Mother's Day stuff which I was not expecting to do. Not all of it's for me and I will show bits that I got for my mum because um, she likes her bath bombs and what I got doubles of because I got one for myself and one for my mother and some things I didn't get to for my mother because I knew she probably wouldn't like it or I don't know. I just kind of decided as I went what I thought she might like. Um, so let's get on to it before I start rambling too much because that normally happens in these videos and it will be an hour long. I literally have like a pile of bath bombs in front of me, like right there. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's too many. Um, so I kind of, like I said, I've only really got bath bombs um, and I have two bubble bars, one for my mother, one for me. And um, I'm going to just explain this beforehand. There's a lot of stuff that came out at Easter that I've tried before or I don't really use that often. I'll go through at the end of finishing the Easter stuff what I'm missing and say why I'm, I haven't got it and then we'll move on to the Mother's Day stuff. So the two bubble bars that I have, they're both kind of the same just in different colours and the same scent just in different colours, is the cream eggs and I've got the two of them. I've got the polka dot, the yellow um, polka dot one and then the pink and blue marbled one. Um, Oh, this is like spearmint. It's like spearmint chewing gum. So, like normal with my Lush videos, it's melting. Um, I've got my laptop just beside me here. So we'll have a look and see what's inside. So in this, there is shock shock spearmint oil. I mean, I'm not joking. Like, I know intergalactic is, the bath bomb is minty. But if they brought out a bath bomb that was this kind of mint, I love the spearmint, oh, it's like dirty, it's so good. It's also got, it's like a bubble rune as well, just in an egg shape. Um, so inside here you've got, is it Shea Brother? And then there's also Cocoa Butter. So I don't know what exactly that is. I think it might be mixed with both. In both of these, so it's really, really hydrating. You can split it in half and get two bats out of it. You can split it in fours if you're really stingy. Not stingy in a bad way, I mean stingy as in, you like to get your money's worth, that's fine. Um. Yeah, so these are really, really good. I don't know which one to give my mother. Maybe this one, and I'll keep this one. But I did have it um, before. Um, the main reason I didn't buy everything from Easter and some of the Mother's Day stuff is because I've had it before. Um, and I don't want to, I've got enough. I don't, really don't need to be overdoing myself with any more bath bombs because I'm, I'm only small. There's not enough of me to wash, so. <laughs> Um, but these I've had before, but the scent of this is just so, so beautiful. So two of these, mother and myself. Do you guys like my lights behind me? They are my Harry Potter. I have two sets of Harry Potter lights, so just above up here. I've got my potions bottles that I've had before um, in a few videos. A um, couple of Lush videos actually, I'm pretty sure. And just there, they I got those at Christmas and they are... Honeyduke Sweet Shop, also Harry Potter, little vials, and they've got confetti in them, and they're so fine, so fab. I do have a set of lights up here as well, but like they're kind of dying. They're the special ones, so they're the Harry Potter ones. Okay, and then we're on to our last Easter piece, which is I told you I didn't buy a lot. Um, this is a big guy. Um, I had to go searching for this one to find one that looked good. Um, so these are the fun eggs. I got the Brontosaurus egg um, for a reason. They do have a gift set out this year um, with two of these guys in them. Sorry, looks like this. It's freaking huge. Like it's in two halves as well. So it's tied together and inside you get a piece of fun. I'm not going to open it because I don't want to. 
really. Um, inside you get a little piece of fun. It's in shape of a brontosaurus dinosaur. It's so cute. And um, they've also got a stegosaurus, a bunny, and a chick. Um, I'm pretty sure they're all scented the same. I'm kind of just spinning around here like I'm just having chats, um, which I am. But yeah, it's pretty sure they're all scented the same. But I know for a fact Easter's coming up, and yes, I still live at home with my mother. Yes, my mother still buys me things for Easter, but I don't eat a lot of chocolate. Um, not that I don't eat chocolate, I do, I just don't eat a lot, so I don't get Easter eggs or anything like that. And yeah, no, and I'm 24 and not a child, even though I act like one. But they do have a little set, I think it's like 24 euro, with two of these guys in it. One is the chick and one is the bunny. Um, so I didn't go for those ones because I only wanted to get one of them. So I was like, I'm going to get the brontosaurus because I think they're so cute. Um, and my mum has told me, she's like, I'm going to get you that instead for Easter because, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's fun. I'm going to have two more of these. That's more bath bombs. Oh my God, I just realised. Scent seems the same on both sides. I don't think there's a difference in scent. Um, uh, na -na -na -na. It's got popping candy in it. Um, so it's got a crackle, which is awesome. I love when they have popping candy in. It's got grapefruit and bergamot oil. And de -de -de. that is, and it's peach and strawberry scented with notes of violet. Yeah, I can kind of smell the violet, but very, very sweet, very sweet. It's very, you can definitely smell the grapefruit and you can definitely smell violet, but really sweet as well. So nice. It's also got almond essential oil, bergamot oil, and popping candy, like I said. Um, so this is fun, and I can't wait. And the little piece inside is made of fun. The um, It's like Play-Doh, but you can wash yourself with it. I actually use them as bubble, like bubble bars. Um, so I actually like put them in a sieve and then let them run on the top, and it makes lots of bubbles, which is fun. So that's why it's called fun. But you can make things out of it, but they've made them into little shapes for you. So cute. Like, kids are going to love these. I love this. So yeah, I have to find a bag big enough for this because it, it kind of fits into the Lush bag but I need to find like a, a clear bag. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly like absolutely fly through all the bits that I didn't get on why just so that you know that I'm not an absolute crazy Lush person that just buys everything because I can't afford that and um, it's just getting overwhelming at this point. So I didn't get the Chick Fun Egg which was like the Brontosaurus one because it's going to be in that set that my mum is going to get me. <clears throat> I didn't get the Lamb Bomb Bomb so they came out with the Bomb Bombs again with the two parts of the bath bomb um, in a, a lamb and a bunny wasn't it a bunny? yeah bunny bomb bomb um, really really nice but they're 12 euro and I know it's two bath bombs together which is like good value actually because it's like 6 euro then but like I don't know I still have my Christmas bomb bombs like I still have the snowman's head left to use um, I just don't need them that's why <clears throat> I also didn't go for the cocoa sugar scrub and the cocoa the chocolate one so there's cocoa which is coconut and cocoa which is the chocolate like little bunny heads they um i have cherryish still i've got scrubby i've got the love island sugar scrub thingy um i've got the plum of two plum sugar plum scrub things like yeah no i don't have enough body for that so no, we skipped those. I was really, really going to get like the chocolate one, but ah, don't need it. Then the bunny fun egg, again, like the brontosaurus one, not getting that. The fun volcano, very cool for kids because you can actually make a volcano. There's a little bit of <clears throat> bath bomb you can put in the middle of it, put some, a little bit of water over it and it'll explode. It's awesome. Um, I've seen videos of it, it looks so cool. But um, I only use mine for bubbles and I don't really need them. Um, okay, the carrot cake lip scrub. I'm still this close to buying, only for the scent alone, because it smells like pure toffee, like I could eat it, like I, I would literally just scoop it out and eat it, it's that nice, and I probably could, but it doesn't smell like carrot cake at all, it smells like toffee. The reason I'm not getting it is because I still have a Sugar Plum Fairy lip scrub, I also have a MAC Vanilla lip scrub, I also have an e.l.f. Um, lip scrub in a stick form. I think I've got two of those actually. Pretty sure I've got another lip scrub of something else and I've also got a Santa lip scrub from Lush. 
And I don't use lip scrubs that often. It's only if I remember to use them. So I don't need it right now. But maybe in a month I might get it. We'll see. Um, the Free Ranger eggs. Another one of those that comes apart. Um, kind of might get one. No, I probably won't because I don't need to. I'm going to keep talking myself out of these things. Um, I've used it before. That's one of the reasons why. If I've used it before, I kind of get to put, push way down on my list. The carrot shower oil. I, I have baths more than I have showers. The only time I have a shower is if I'm in my boyfriend's house and I'm just not arse bringing that kind of thing over. Um, Brontosaurus fun, I bought. So, yeah. The bunny bomb bomb. Again, same with the lamb bomb bomb. The stegosaurus fun egg. I could have got that, but I wanted the stegosaurus. The brontosaurus. Brontosaurus, Jesus. Brontosaurus instead. Jesus. Um, and the stegosaurus fun egg, like I mean I'm gonna be getting two more of the, the bunny and the chick so I don't really need them. The shower bomb, Beak Street, um, smelled it, smells really good. It smells like Let the Good Times Roll um, facial cleanser. Oh I love that scent. Um, I've only used a sample of that before, I should really buy that. I really shouldn't. <laughs> um, but shower bomb, I don't really get, I don't really get them. I've, I've had them demoed on me and I get why? But I don't think I'd be arsed to use the one really. Okay, golden egg. I do usually get one of these every year because they're so beautiful and they set, they smell like honey and they're so nice. But it's a bath bomb melt by the way. It's covered in gold glitter. Um, I've used it before and as you can probably imagine, I don't need bath bombs. So I was like, no, nope, don't need it. I'm really, really trying to adult at the minute and I can't. So yeah, this last thing I've been on the hunt for and both of my Lush stores don't didn't have them in stock. I checked both of them today. And um, one girl said that they get deliveries on Tuesday, so I might check on Tuesday and see. Um is the Rose Bombshell egg. Now they've come out with Rose Bombshell um bath bomb for Valentine's Day. It's a bigger bath bomb, like a big size normal bath bomb. And inside there is always twelve yellow petals, rose petals inside, and it smells like rose and it's gorgeous and I usually get one every year. They didn't come out with it this year, so I obviously couldn't get it. But they brought this out and it's in the shape of an egg, exactly like this, but bigger. It's exactly like this, it's twined up like this as well. And inside you get um, rose petals and there's also sea salt just inside of it. So it's just tied up like that. So you can literally take one half off and use that as just a bath bomb and then use it as a like, luxurious half. Or what I would do is actually keep them twined together and plunk it in and then just let it dissolve and then eventually all the petals will fl flow like bathing in flower petals like how extra do you need to be and how fab is that that's so nice but none of them have it in stock and I will be buying it if they get it in it is 12 pounds so I think it's like 13 or 14 it's probably 14 euro um I will get that though I will because I just really really want to try it sounds amazing so that is all for Lush I'm already 16 minutes filming and that really worries me because I'm only, I'm only three items in this is really bad. This always happens. Um, but yeah, that is Easter. Let's move on to Mother's Day. So for my mother on Mother's Day, I usually just get her like bath bombs, candles, stuff, like just nice things like that. And um, sometimes flowers if I have time to actually get flowers and bring them home. Um, and like a nice card. And that's kind of it. And I know that's kind of all she likes to get. She doesn't really like making a big fuss or anything like that. Um, I have currently gotten her a few bath bombs. I'm going to show you which ones I got. I've also gotten her the avocado wash shower gel because she keeps using mine. Like I said in the last video, I did eventually buy it. I've also gotten her the MAC Fix Plus Cherry Blossom um, scented one, the new one that came out for the Boom Boom Bloom collection. And yeah, I think that's kind of I do have to get her some candles, but that's kind of all I need to get. So I'm going to show you which ones I got her from these. Um, but I find Lush bath bombs, if your mom likes bath bombs or just anything nice from Lush that she might use whether it be cleansers or lotions or shower gels or anything like that just luxurious like pamper yourself kind of moments like mask or something like that hair mask foot mask whatever those kind of things that's what mom's like mom's like be pampered my mom likes to be pampered so yeah I'm gonna show you what I got and I have my computer like I said beside me and let's get into it okay so the first item of Mother's Day I have is one of the butterflies. Look at him, it's so cute. He just floats along. This is the pink, I think, I think it's just called pink, is it? 
rose butterfly. It's called a rose butterfly. Um, this has got rose oil and Sicilian lemon oil and that's kind of all. It has other bits obviously because it needs other ingredients but that's the main kind of scent of them. Um, it definitely smells floral. You can definitely smell the rose but sweet but not rose jam. As in it smells tasty even though it smells like rose if that makes sense. And it's just so vibrant and like marbleized, and I think that looks so beautiful because it just splays out like a butterfly. It'll look like it's kind of floating around your bath. That would be so cool. There is three of them and I do have both of the other ones as well somewhere in this mess and we will find them eventually. Okay, so moving on to another butterfly. This is the green, it's the lemon butterfly. This is the one I bought two of. This is the one my mum will like a lot. This has got Sicilian lemon oil and wild orange oil. You can definitely smell the orange and it's gorgeous. It's like, it smells like, like orange peel, like the peel of an orange, you know, and it's like kind of, the smell of it's like still on your fingers after eating one. It's, ah, oh, it's just so gorgeous. So it says citrus oil, zesty lemon, Sicilian lemon oil, sweet wild orange. Want to make your la, 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 la. the shimmer in these? I didn't know that. Shimmery green bath that leaves your skin fragrant and soft. Um, this would be so nice on like, like the end of a warm day. Do you know what I mean? Like in the when it starts getting a little bit warmer in the summer. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mother dearest shall love this. Okay, and then the last one is the wild butterfly. And this one here is like orange and yellow, kind of like a coral and yellow almost. Um, what are you? You have got um, sweet wild orange oil as well, orange leaf absolute and petagrain oil. Oh, yeah, you see, this is hard to smell in the, in the actual store. This smells so interesting. So interesting. You can get a hint of the orange, like a hint of the orange, but I don't know if it's the pedigrain oil that's making this scent, I'm not sure. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, bath bone dust right up the nose, yes. <laughs> My hair, Jesus. Um, Yeah, so I don't know if it's the pedigrain oil because I don't really know what that smells like. The more I smell it, I can smell orange though. But yeah, this is so nice. It's so interesting. Go in and smell this. This smells amazing. Floating flower. So this is gorgeous. It's got a gorgeous flower. This is a an actual flower. It's a chrysanthemum. It is... Oh, I crushed the middle of it. Oh no. Um, it's dipped in... Um, what's it say? Fair trade cocoa butter and almond oil. Um, and this will kind of melt in some water to so hydrate your skin a little bit more. But this will just float around your water because it's a floating flower. How cute. It's this gorgeous blue as well. So it's going to make your, I'd imagine, like this like nice sky blue sort of shade. It's definitely floral. But you can definitely smell the almond oil. So it does have a little bit of like a, a foody kind of smell to it. And um, there's also lavender oil in this, so that's kind of where the, that's where the floral is coming from. So yeah, there is lavender oil, almond stuff, oil, that's kind of it. It's really nice though. This, I got another one from my mum, so I have another one here somewhere for my mum, because um, I think this is just gorgeous and I know she'll really, really like that scent. Alrighty, so on to the next one. We are on to the jasmine flower. These are, they brought out a couple of these in this range of like the flower bath bombs. Um, so this is the jasmine one. It's like this pale green sort of shade with a white flower, like a jasmine, on top. And what's cool about these guys is in here, the little yellow part is actually a piece of paper. So you can take that out, write a little note on it, pop back in, and when your mum uses it in the bath, there's a little message for you. You can write a cute little message and I wouldn't even tell her that that's what that is. I'd literally, I'm not gonna like tell my mom. I'm just gonna literally let her use it in the bath and then be like, oh my God, did you get the note? You know, she'll probably throw it out. She probably won't even notice that's there. I don't know, whatever. Um, so this is really, really nice. My mom and me love jasmine, but this is a weird jasmine. You can definitely smell the jasmine, the jasmine that we like in there somewhere. 
but there's other things kind of coating that scent. So inside there is jasmine powder, obviously. There is chamomile blue oil, which I think that's might what might what be what I'm smelling. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Um, lavender oil, and no joke, literally googled on YouTube a pronunciation of this word because I was like, screw it, I'm not going to mess this up. Um, Tajete's oil, um, it's a gorgeous flower, but I don't know what that smells like. Herby? Maybe that's what, no, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, because it says herbaceous and upli uplifting, so maybe it's a herby kind of scent. I don't know, it smells really nice. I did not get this from my mom. So I did not get another one of these for my mom because I don't know if she's going to like this kind of scent. I like it because I'm quite open with my scents, but she's not. She's very particular with her scents. So this I only bought one of, but I have got other ones for her. So let's move on. In case you haven't really guessed with this Mother's Day collection, very floral. So yeah, <laughs> prepare your nostrils for flowers. Um, so we're on to the chamomile bath bomb. Yeah, I think I might buy my mum one of these as well. I think I'm, I miss my chance because I, I don't think I could smell these properly. This smells gorgeous. I think she'll really like this. So this is, it's like a, a blue, a pale blue um, with a white, again, kind of like a chamomile flower. So they kind of match what they're supposed to smell like. Um, this has got chamomile powder in it, orange flower absolute, any lang lang. See, lang lang I like in it. You can smell the chamomile, but there's that sweetness of the ylang ylang. Oh, I think my mum will like this. I might get her one. This also has the little paper in the middle of it, so you can write your little note too. No, bath bomb dust everywhere. Oh no. Okay, so on to another flower. I did buy all of these flower bath bombs. I thought they're so pretty. Don't fall. Do not fall, okay? Um, because I think they're so pretty. This is the iris flower. So this, what I'm assuming is an iris flower, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, also a little piece of paper, so they all have a little piece of paper in the middle of them, so you know, if you pick any of them, you can write a little message. This is a gorgeous pale pink, and the iris flower is like a lavender, lilac-y kind of color. Um, in this one, we've got orris root powder. Don't know what that smells like. Um, powdery violet, that's what it says. <laughs> Um, bergamot oil, Persian lime oil, and neroli oil. So, this to me smells like spring cleaning. It smells like cleaning your house. That's exactly what it smells like. Does it have any iris in it? No? Just supposed to look like one? Okay, fine. You could definitely smell the lime and the bergamot because it's like, like clean. It smells clean and spring cleaning. It literally smells like spring cleaning. It smells like, like cleaning your whole house. It literally just smells like that. So, so nice. So fresh. So springy. Yeah. Love it. Okay, so this one I'm definitely keeping for myself because this is not the pretty one. I picked a really nice one and must be the other one. And um, this one's got glitter on it and the piece of paper is a bit crushed. But sure, look, I'm not writing myself a message. Although I might. I might write myself a message on all these, use them in a, in a while, and it'd be like past me sending me notes. That'd be fun. Kind of weird as well. Um, so this is the marigold flower. It's this gorgeous bright yellow on the bottom and this orange, I'm assuming a marigold. Does it have marigold? Apparently not. This has got bushu oil, bergamot oil and grapefruit oil. I don't know what bushu oil smells like. You can definitely smell the grapefruit but I'm assuming what I'm smelling is quite sweet. Is the bushu oil? Maybe, I don't know, it's gorgeous though. Such a nice scent. I'm imagining this is gonna be so bright in your water as well. I just think like a marigold bath one sounds really nice. And then I've got the floating flower one and I'm probably gonna get her a chamomile one. I think they'd be nice. And then the boba bar. Yeah, that's quite nice. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then this last one is the one I was like most excited for. Bear the, the rose one from the Easter collection but this one it's so so cute oh my god I can't even cope Um, I have an obsession with tea a lot of people that know me know tea is life tea is my love tea makes me happy my boyfriend knows the way to my heart is to make me a cup of tea simple plain and simple 
Um, and if I'm angry, make me tea. If I'm sick, make me tea. If I'm hungover, make me tea. Er, tea fixes all, all problems, all of them, every single one. I'm telling it when you make it right, you have to make it right though. Yeah. And this is called, what are you called? More tea and sympathy. This is, it's a freaking teacup. Look at it, it's so cute. It even has a thingy. It's got a thingy. Now the girl in the store was saying that there's an actual tea bag in here. Apparently it's like an Earl Grey tea bag or something like that. Um, I think so, that's what it says here. It's got a Earl Grey tea bag emerges from the bright pink fizzing teapot. Um, and it's got bergamot oil, neroli oil, um, it's got green tea absolute, which I love. The scent of it's very sweet though, which I'm assuming is the bergamot oil. It's gorgeous. Imagine the colour in this bath. And these little bits here are blue corn flowers. Um, it's like really sweet green tea. I don't really know what green tea tastes like though, because I've never actually had it. I only I always stick to berries and limes. I'm I'm I go for either. I'm not, I'm not too fussed. Tend to be berries more so though. Oh, it's gorgeous and I cannot wait to use this. It's gonna be so cute. Look at it. It's so cute. I don't want to use it. I might get another one of these. I think these I think if I go if I do get any more of anything, I might get my mum the chamomile bath bomb. And I am gonna have the the fun egg ones, um two of those because my mum is gonna get them for me. And I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get myself one of these. Just because it's gorgeous. And it actually smelled so nice. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, just because I did it with the Easter stuff, I'm gonna go through bits that I didn't get. Um, now, for some reason, they're advertising the goddess bath bomb, probably because it's, you know, all mothers are goddesses and all that. And um, the goddess range, so the bath bomb, wash card, solid perfume and the soap, all, and the normal perfume oil and the normal perfume. Um, they're all advertised in the Mother's Day collection, so I'm assuming that's like a whole thing. Um, there's loads of gift sets, so you've got m amazing gift sets with lots of these products and other products inside if your mother does like these. So the Honey Bear Massage Bar, I don't use massage bars that often. I have one, two, three, four here, and I've got, well, I got my boyfriend one before um, for Valentine's Day. But he hardly ever uses it because he always forgets it's there, but he should use it because he goes to the gym and it's nice for your muscles. Um, so I kind of use that. Um, but I don't use them that often really, so I don't really buy them. Um, so that's that one. What else did I not get? There's not as many that I didn't get. The Raspberry Milkshake Soap. I've said it before, I don't use soap that often. I have a lot of soap here. I tend to use it to clean my brushes because I just... Bar soap, it's just, it's just too much effort. I like shower gels, I like liquids, and I like kind of that kind of thing. Um, the Girl Power Bubble Bar. I have a lot of bubble bars and I don't get through bubble bars as quickly as bath bombs. So that's why I buy a lot of bath bombs more um, or an immense amount. Um, the Incredible Mum Bath Bomb. Kind of tempted to get that again because I do really like that one. I did like it last year, but I have used it before. So that's why I didn't get it today. Um, the Strawberry Hill Shower Bomb. Again, don't really use shower bombs. Um, I don't think I'd be arsed really to use one. Um, the Madam President bath bomb. I was also quite tempted to get that as well but more tempted with the Incredible Mum because I think it's cute because it's got a cape. Um, the Madam President, um, maybe, don't know, who am I? Um, what else is there? The Mamma Mia body scrub. Now, can someone tell me what that smells like? Because that is something I've had before and I don't know what it is. It's something slightly coconutty. Let me get the ingredients up. Um, I can get a coconutty kind of smell off it. Um, it's this bright pink scrub, Himalayan salt, gorgeous, fabulous, pink grapefruit, lovely, vanilla, obviously that's probably what I'm smelling, the rosewood oil, okay, I don't know, um, I could, it smells like something, I asked the girl in, in the store and she was like, I, I know what you mean and we're trying to figure it out and we don't know what it is, um, yeah, someone tell me what that is because I need to know, um, I don't know why it's so difficult to decipher what that is. Um, and I was very, I was definitely going to get that for myself. But I stopped myself because I, it was 14 euro for the small soap, for one. Um, which I don't mind, I, I got paid today so that's why I bought all this. That's what, the reason why I waited this long, because I was waiting to get paid. Um, but I, I was like, I don't need it. I have scrubs, I've got the solid scrubs from loads of collections and I just don't want to overwhelm myself with too, many, too much product, basically. That's what it is. I don't want to be overdoing it with spending. There's no point 
not necessary. I know I buy a lot of stuff um, and I'm kind of contradicting myself, but these are things I really wanted and I'm only buying things I really want. So yeah, um, that is everything. That is all. I can now baggy these up and put them away. Yay! Um, I'm dying to start using them. I'm so excited. So if you did like this video, give me a big thumbs up below. Hit subscribe down below to see more Lush videos whenever they come out with new stuff because I only buy the new stuff unless I want to do like a top 10 or like a roundup of my favourite products or whatever. I probably will do that eventually. Um, yeah, I really, really love, love, love Lush. I love the new stuff that come out. I think they're so cool. I love all of this. I'm very excited to get into this and I really hope I can get that rose bombshell bath on. I'd be very be so happy if I get that. Um, yeah, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've used any of these products. What's your favourite? And if not, let me know what you're the most interested in or you you want to buy now because of my fabulous descriptions because I'm so good at it. I'm not really. <laughs> um, I kind of literally just go by the website, that's why. And then kind of tell you what I can smell. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!